How many ribbons can one person win at the Dallas Quilt Guild Show? Let's take a look at some quilts and find out. Hi, I'm Amy and I make things. Today, I make my way through the Dallas Quilt Show and share some of my favorites with you. Be sure and stay to the end to see Ian of Off Kilter Crafter Ian fame speaking about his beautiful rainbow quilt. You don't want to miss it. This is a quilt by Karen K. Stone, who is a favorite of mine. And it's first place in the abstract quilt category at the Dallas Quilt Show 2024. Casey, what's the title of that? 21 Rooms? I always love her use of color and contrast and the dynamic aspect of her work. It's fun to see it up close again. This is called Lucky Day in the pictorial quilt category. It's the second place. Absolutely precious. I love the contrast in browns. So many varying shades of browns. It's about Carol Morrissey from Double Oak, Texas, based on a photo of a box turtle. It is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> to blur it in the video. I love this quilt. I love this quilt because of the title. It's called Thoughts After Therapy. And it's blurred here in the video because of YouTube standards, but on my community page, there will be a close-up shot so that you can see what it really looks like. I have absolutely been there and been driving away from therapy with that running through my head as well. Another Karen Quezon, Karen K. Stone. It's called Just a Song. It's gonna be the Karen K. Stone show because she's a favorite of mine. I mean, of course, you can tell she is with the bright colors and the texture. The pattern in the quilting in this one is absolutely beautiful. It's created a plaid in the quilting. Another blue ribbon. It's absolutely stunning. That red and white border down the right hand side is my favorite feature. Go figure. I love this quilt. I'm a Gen Xer. I love Joan Jett. I love the song. It's been playing in my head for the past hour while we've walked around. We just met Jason, who's the creator of this quilt. And my favorite thing that he said about it is that he made it because this is what he wanted to do 10 years ago, this kind of quilting. And this was the first time he let himself say, I'm going to do whatever I want, and it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks about it. And then as he brings it to drop it off, he said, and then I dropped it off and thought, well, but if it doesn't win a ribbon, I might be really upset. <laughs> And he has no need to be upset because it absolutely did win a ribbon. And it is just full of life and energy. And it's fun. It's fun, guys. Quilting should be fun. And he had a great time making it. So, Jason, congratulations. I love your quilt. I love this. I love the pictorial quilt aspect of it, but it's still just impressionistic. It's by Kathy Casey from Murchison, Texas. It's called Pasture Sunset. The hand stitching on it is absolutely incredible and gives it such depth and texture. And then next to it, to the left, we have another Karen K. Stone blue ribbon. <laughs> I love Karen Stone. She's absolutely one of my favorites. I'm gonna say it again and again. Um, so far we're up to three blue ribbons. Her work is so distinctive and identifier, identifiable.
Be sure and get the placard, Casey. And this is the Art Quilt Open Division Blue Ribbon. I love this quilt. It is absolutely stunning and mesmerizing. It's called The Value of Violet by Margaret Solomon Gunn from Gorm, Maine. And the quilting is absolutely just mind-blowing. Hand embroidery, hand applique, this edge treatment is out of this world. It's bedazzled and has pearls and absolutely should have won two ribbons. It is just incredible. Okay, as we're walking up to this quilt, I, you know, I'm not generally one for holiday quilts, but I said to Casey, that is a beautiful Christmas quilt. And then we get up to the card, and it's Cheryl DeGan, who is in my Austin area quilt guild, and her work is absolutely incredible. And of course I love it. I like all of Cheryl's work. She's got another quilt on the other side of the show, equally beautiful, but I couldn't pass this one up without giving it a shout out to Cheryl, one of my local Austin folk, but it's just, it's incredible. And the attention in the quilting is, it's just stunning. Okay, another quilt, another blue ribbon, but it's not Karen K. Stone. It's someone named Carrie Green. Very similar effects, very similar colors. You guys, of course, I love it. I love the striped piecing in between, around the amoebas. But my very favorite part of this is the background. How well this subtle tone on tone dark piecing is just, it, I mean, it's just stunning. And then the bright colors floating off the top of it. And of course it looks like amoebas and it's science-y, so I love it. The plaid quilting is exquisite, absolutely deserving of a blue ribbon. This is by Linda Roy from Knoxville, Tennessee. It's called The Crossing. It won Best in Show and it absolutely should have. Everything about this quilt is hand pieced, hand applique, hand embroidered, hand quilted, and it is absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Aspirational.
I'm at the Dallas Quilt Show. I'm with Ian Garland, and this is his stunning, stunning quilt. And I'm going to let Ian take it away and tell you all about the quilt and the quilting and all the things. All the things here. about it? I'm Absolutely. so glad. Um, so this was a Legit Kits block of the month. Uh, this was their very first one. It is called Rainbow Vortex. At least that's what I named it. The original name was Vortex, but of course it's a rainbow. So we've got to add the rainbow on there. Um, this was a beautiful kit to put together. I had so much fun working on it. It is FPP, Foundation Paper Piecing. And um, I just love how it came out, to be honest. What really sets this quilt off is the quilting that my quilter did, Nancy Houston, the very thoughtful quilter on Instagram. She did an amazing job. We kind of choreographed and worked together, choreographed, what is this, a musical? I don't know, but anyways, <laughs> we worked together on coming up with an idea for the quilting. I really wanted it to have some movement to it and she really went in and put in some amazing details. I told her I wanted some kind of like bubbles as they're going down a drain. I needed some way to get that movement going. So she and I worked out kind of an, a, a draft, an idea of a plan, and then she executed it beautifully. And we also agreed that we wanted this quilt to not have borders. We wanted it to kind of fall off on the edge. So we ended up doing a faced quilt, uh, just wrapping around the quilt to the back so that way it doesn't have any of those confining borders around it. Uh, and it came out stunningly. I don't even know quite how she got some of this super intricate quilting into it. It is just, it's like millimeters apart. Absolutely stunning. I couldn't be happier with it and I'm so glad that we worked together on it. Now, the thing I love about the quilting and the piece in general, first of all, your work is always, <laughs> Thank always. You. But Don't look too closely then. <laughs> I'll stand back here. I'll take my yeah, glasses. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> but I like the, how the scale of the quilting changes. Yes. And that's, you know, the scale of not just the quilting, the little lines, but mm -hmm. the bubbles and all of it with the piecing. Yeah. yeah. She's really remarkable. She is. She absolutely yeah. is. So I'm so glad that we're getting her work out in the public so that way people can see it. And hopefully this will get entered to some other shows. And Ian, I know anybody who follows me already knows who you are, but go ahead and throw it out there where we can find you, all of your socials. And yeah, what. absolutely. You can check me out. I am uh, the Off Kilter Crafter Ian. Almost forgot my name for half a second. <laughs> off Kilter Crafter Ian on YouTube. I also somewhat post on Instagram. I'm really bad about it, to be honest, but I post on Instagram as well. So feel free to check me out over on those. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. We had a great time at the show. I got to meet up with several of you and say hello, and we had an awesome dinner with an awesome new friend. Overall, it was a lovely and much needed break from regular life. Thank you so much for hanging with me and enjoying the work of some amazingly talented quilters. One of these days I may venture into show entry, but this weekend I was happy admiring the work of others. Do you enter quilt shows? Tell me about your experiences in the comments below. Don't forget to click those buttons and don't forget that you make the world more beautiful just by being in it. I'm Amy and I'll see you next time. Ba -da 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 -da. Ah. <laughs>